Hi, I'm CJ with Bird Dog, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bring any remote source or PTZ camera from around the world into your own production using Bird Dog Cloud. So let's go ahead and jump in today's example. If you hop over to my screen, you'll see the Bird Dog Cloud grid. And in this video, we're gonna show bringing Jake's camera, who's our other sales engineer at Bird Dog. He lives in California, and I'm based over in Texas. So as you can see on the left-hand side, I have Bird Dog Jake office and CJ home. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Jake's Bird Dog P200 camera and bring it into my own production in Texas. So if I see on my transmitter side, I'm going to send Bird Dog Jake to CJ. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this icon and this will bring up my settings for my cloud connection. At the top, you'll see the configuration icon and this is where you can choose the bit rate and how much data you wanna send over the NDI connection. It's essentially converting NDI to SRT for a point to point connection. In this test, I'm gonna use CJ test, which is gonna be a five megabit signal at H.264. Then I can send this as a single connection, a multi-view, or I can actually send multiple cameras over one port connection over SRT. Here, I can choose between rendezvous or caller or listener if I have done port forwarding on my network. Below, if I hit this dropdown, you're gonna see all the NDI sources on Jake's network. So you can see, we're gonna do the P200 for this video. After that, I'm gonna label it what I want. So for this, I'm gonna say Jake Cam. If I want, I can also choose a local NDI source like my P4K that I was looking at at the beginning. And if for some reason I lose connection with Jake's camera, it'll kick over to that camera. Next, I can choose to give myself PTZ control. I can also give tally information as well as send alpha key information. Then you can choose to send either audio only or no audio if you prefer. And on this, we're gonna choose port 5557 and use rendezvous mode, so no port forwarding is required. Then below here, I can choose how much latency I want. So in this case, this is about a two second trip. So I will be seeing Jake's camera and controlling it in a two second delay. You can also encrypt it using AES encryption. And then you can also choose to utilize your CPU or your video card to help with the weight of, the, um, of decoding the signal. Then below here, I can also choose uh, my time code and I can also disable active sync. So once you have all that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. You will see it form this little link icon and then we're gonna see real activity right here. And this is showing me my round trip time of around 61 milliseconds. So that's pretty good. So 120 is kind of my safety and then 60 milliseconds is the real trip time. So now that I have this, let's go ahead and try to bring Jake's camera into our production. So let's see, let's go ahead and open up Studio Monitor. Once I have this, I can right click on the screen and Jake's cam is going to appear as if it was on our show. And there's Jake right there over in California. What's awesome is now that I have this on my NDI network, I can actually bring this into my switcher show. So let's go ahead and pull that up. And now Jake and I are side by side and we can wave to each other and start our production. What's even greater is that we can also control Jake's camera. So if I go ahead and follow Jake over to the left, I can, on my studio monitor, I can follow him right over. And this is me controlling his camera on my side. And I'll show back my screen just to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. You could control this in vMix or uh, any program that you wanted. I'm controlling this right on studio monitor and I can even set my presets for this. So if I want this to be my first shot, I can follow Jake now back over to his computer. And this is me controlling it on my end and we can make the shot number two. Then I can tell Jake, go ahead and go back to your other position. We hit position one and the camera will whip right over and then go back over to position two. And we follow him back over to this position. It's as easy as that. So this is a way that you guys can bring any camera around the world into your own production using NDI. We hope you guys find this uh, useful. And if you guys have any more workflow or pre-sales questions, feel free to email us at hello at birddog.tv. Thanks and have a great day.